All right, hello, hello everybody. Today we got some baseball stuff. We got National Treasures and we got the Topps Chrome Update series. This honestly is the National Treasure stuff I've seen. Never really opened it for one that it's like an absurd amount of money for not much in here. Prior to doing this sort of stuff, when it came to sports cards, I liked quantity over quality. Now, I want quality. I want I want the wow factor. Like that that thing that's gonna pull you in. It's like, oh my god, this is amazing. Or like, whoa. Like that sort of stuff, I wanna see. I, I've been lucky enough a few times now, especially with opening up some sports stuff. And not the small things, the big things. The the things that are gonna be like, hope, whoa. That's the sort of stuff I wanna see. I'm excited to open this. The art of sport thing was cool last time and honestly it's this again panini's been around for a long time and they have amazing stuff especially when it comes to basketball football baseball like their their stuff is phenomenal so and tops i mean tops is always one of those companies that carries all the top quality things everything high end when it comes to card stuff so it doesn't matter if Topps is doing baseball, Disney, Pokemon from like back in the day. I'm pretty sure they did Digimon stuff too. They do everything. Topps is one of those companies that's been around for a long time. Panini, honestly, they do a bunch of stuff and their stuff is phenomenal. Like there's no one worse than the other. They're all gonna be preferential. Take the good with the bad. One box is gonna cost $300, one box is gonna cost $500, one box is gonna cost 100 bucks. It really just depends. So let's dive into these, see what we get. Hopefully it's something that's PSA worthy too, because I need some more sports stuff that's PSA worthy. I have a small collection that I'm building up, but PSA, maybe it's just me, but PSA is hard on sports cards. It's hard to it's hard to gain sometimes like what they're looking for on sports stuff because I, I look at certain cards and I'd be like that thing's immaculate like it's it, there's no way this is a nine this should be a ten and then I get something back it's like really this is what you gave a ten so I need some more stuff that I'm not gonna pay out the something for let's dive into this see if there's something phenomenal in there and go from there. All right, so we got the tops. Chrome update series hobby box. You got three autograph cards per box. So that's already, to me, awesome. That would be killer on that is being Canadian. Nice Vladimir Guerrero Jr. thing signed. Amazing. That would be, to me, awesome. But let's see what we get. I mean, I'm not gonna say no to uh, Shohei Otani or Mike Trout. I'm not gonna say no. Those are always good cards. So we got Vaughn Grissom, Nick Martinez. This card's so thick. Oh, on there. Anthony Volp. We got Mikel Castro. Mike, oh, sorry, buddy. Just throwing me around like that. Michael Fulmer, and Contreras, Profar. Okay, just all in different order here. And okay. So something Otani. It's just in the wrong, it's just in the wrong jersey. We'll give him the you know, just a mistake. It's okay. At least it's LA. <laughs> I mean it would have been nice to see him in a blue jay uniform, but ain't no way that we're competing. Just can't compete with uh, with LA money, man. Why are these all in like different order? Okay, Gunnar Henderson, Garrett Stubbs, Mason Angler, Blake Sable, Matt Mervis, Yuri de los Santos, Bryce Harper, Luis Guriel. Miss that guy. Good player. We got more of the action stars. At least it's like a big name. I mean, it's no Mike Trout, but we'll take it. We'll take it. Okay, so we got Dustin May, Bobby Miller, Ron Grossman, 
Seth Lugo, Yuri Perez, Joey Ortiz, JP Sears, Zach Weiss, Jake Odorizzi, nice Kyle Farmer. So we got a blue prismatic, I think. What is this? Sean Murphy. Okay, I missed that. I knew I missed something. That was something. I mean, I don't know. Santos might not be the person to look out for, but let's see. Maybe, maybe I just I was overlooking it. I knew it went over something. It just seemed like it was. I know there's not a lot of there's not a lot of packs in here, so kind of have to pay attention for it. And I just passed it like it was just blind. Let's get into this one. So we got. Sticky. Rodriguez, Pasquatino, Schmidt, Sato, Maya, Lopez, Julian, JP France, Velasquez, Vinny, we got purple. Okay. Well, at least we got a Mike Trout one. Again, not gonna say no to Mike Trout. Mike Trout's always go-to. Jordan Walker's rookie. Okay. Honestly, when it comes to, to baseball stuff, like there's just there's so much. And there's so many big players too. Like it's not just, you know, you have a few players. Baseball's just a lot of a lot of people. These cards are sticky. Wendell Barraza Bailey. Dominic Smith, Jordan Walker, Nicky Lopez, Moreno, Nolan Gorman. I'll take that Bichette one though. I like that. So, 50 of these. I'm not a Cardinals fan, but who knows? Might be, might be someone out there. <laughs> not even like that far into the box and just like just pulled a lot of good cards hicklin owen smith legamina acton kiermeyer okay Put the blue jay ones aside ref snyder gonzalez solano Titans, Julio Rodriguez. Okay. Yandy Diaz. Like, I mean, comparatively, for art stuff, there is some cool stuff out of this. I mean, you, you think when it comes to, like, Pokemon stuff, Digimon stuff, or One Piece, Dragon Ball Z, whatever kind of cards you got, the art ones, you know, they put these really cool artworks in this they don't have to they just put a signature on some of these guys you know make it a blue purple green refractor and, and it's worth an absurd amount of money right so got johnny brito casey schmidt noah syndergaard wandy peralta hunter brown Lennox. Pete Alonso. I like this one. He's a good player too. He's just too aggressive. He is he is the the big polar bear though. These cards have a weird like sticky. Sticky sticky. So we got Tyler Alexander. Corey Yolks. Come on, let's go. Jared Schuster, Bobby Miller, Jeter Downs, Miguel Vargas, Alvarez, Josh Jung, Bryce Miller, Nicky Lopez. Nothing crazy so far. You know, maybe, hopefully there's something. I haven't had that big 
crazy like moment where you're just like oh my god when it comes to sports stuff and honestly I've 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 tried I just can't I just can't see it I just can't okay I mean you're not in the American League no more Shoei but I'll help you okay got a few more packs out of here it's another thing like these these cards are super thick it doesn't seem that thick. It's, it's hard to it's hard to reference point this, but these things are just thick in comparison. They just have some like just rigidity. They're just I know they have this heavy, heavy coating over it. So Nardi, La Stella, Hill, Lyles, Soriano. Ah, really? Two Cardinals players? They're not even like big stars. Bregman. That's the three signatures? Come on. Come on. Kill him. Okay, let's see. Let's see. So we got Jason Hayward, Matt Mervis, G Man Choi. Make sure it is. Rokio. Pache, Hobie Harris, Cody Bellinger, Brett Wisely, Future Stars, Jordan Walker. Now, Jordan Walker from the Cardinals? Yes, I would 100% be able to that. <laughs> that's 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 a card I need. There's always there's always like some sort of rookie from these these teams. Like the Cardinals are are just not it. They're still in rebuilds, so it's too bad. They had some good players over the years. So we got Kyle Lewis. Got my cup. Oh my! I'm just I'm just not gonna. Elvis Andrus, Jake Bird, Luis Arias, Kenley Jansen, Gus Varland, Jesse Chavez. We got Michael Harris the second, JP France, Garrett Cole, and Moreno. Okay. Yeah, I mean, there's some cool cards in here. I mean, the signatures, honestly, I was hoping that would be somebody with a bigger name, but I'll take with what I can get. The thing with baseball stuff is it needs to be graded, and it doesn't matter if it's, you know, blue, purple, green PSA 10 and baseball stuff is like you're already winning like a Shohei Otani stuff is killer in itself like a PSA 10 in any of those amazing so let's uh let's see what we can get you know I'm gonna send out I'm definitely gonna send out some stuff out here because there's 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 some bangers like there's there's definitely some cool stuff it's not as big as I was hoping <laughs> Maybe there's, maybe it's holding out for me in this National Treasures box. So let's, let me just clean this up and we'll dive into that. Okay, time for the main act out of this. So we got National Treasures box 2023, Panini. Like, it's not like the, um, what were those football ones that, and even the NBA had these, like, cases that you could buy. And they were just it's even got a tamper seal on it. Like this thing's pretty cool. Like it's got it's got a little hinges on the back. That's pretty cool. This is just like <laughs> oh oh with your little pack in there, little box, all this, and it's still sealed on this too. My goodness, never opened such prestige here. Damn. Okay. Okay, I see you. I don't even know how to open this. I don't want to do this. Do this. Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let me just... Okay. Staka Yoshida. Okay. 
Andre Dawson. It's from Expo Days. Okay. So we got Kevin Parada. Honestly, Yoshida's the only one I really know right now. Mario Soto. George Valera. Ooh, Cal Ripken. Okay. Let's see. Ty Madden from the Tigers. Shim Huh Ryan Sandberg Okay Listen, there's some cool stuff in here Um Even with history And there's a ton There's just They're just all hits So this is definitely the first One I've opened up Of these National Treasure stuff This one didn't have the big stuff didn't have the big, you know, the, it's too bad. There's just hits. Like, this is just hits. <laughs> yeah, there's definitely some cool stuff in here, especially for the legendary materials. It's just too bad that there's no big modern one. But, I mean, the quality out of these, this thing is amazing. So, if a uh, crazy baseball fan, you want to open something, like, crazy, this is it. This is it. This is like, there's no generational that's like specific to this. So you're just gonna, you're just gonna get a variety of stuff that's, it's definitely out there and it's, it could be worth crazy, crazy money for some of this stuff. Unfortunately, I would say this set, this box specific, I don't want to say I got robbed, but man, there's nothing, there's nothing crazy out of this. The Cal Ripken thing's kind of cool. I mean, he's, he is, uh, he's a Hall of Famer. Like, there's definitely no doubt about that one. The George Valera one's kind of cool. Kevin Parada. Even uh, Andre Dawson. But, you know, it's no Alex Rodriguez. It's no David Ortiz. It's no Mike Trout. It's no Shohei Otani. Like, there's just, there's, there's nothing that's, you know, from the modern era. And even just to, like, the 90s and, and early 2000s of, of baseball <laughs> it's sad to say but i would even be happy with like a vernon wells sign card vernon wells was like my favorite player growing up that sort of thing would be wicked and i would be so down for that again this is the national treasures box the 2023 edition if you want some crazy baseball stuff try it uh, to each their own because, again, maybe in your box you're going to pull something that's from, you know, the Cubs. You're going to pull something that's from the Mariners that's, like, could pull one from, like, L.A. But, I mean, so far, this is cool. Like, there's no, there's no filler in this. It's just sign pieces, treasure pieces, historic pieces. Like, if you want to go into the Cal Ripken thing. And even uh, Ryan Sandberg. There's cool things in this. It's expensive. It's worth it. It's worth it. So take your time with this one. Don't just buy it <laughs> like me. Don't just buy it and just expect that there's going to be something crazy in it. I mean, there is. There's, there's crazy things in it. But don't expect that there's going to be, you know, that diamond in every box. So they do have to carry over and, and spread it out. That's what makes these cards super valuable and limited numbered. Again, thank you for watching. Pay attention for some upcoming videos. We're just waiting on some new sports products that were coming out. Again, a lot of the Paldean Fates from Pokemon. And I think there's a couple, not vintage, but older sets that we're getting into Pokemon and potentially a few other things. So pay attention, comment, like, subscribe. If you love what we're doing and you want to see more, Subscribe. We're putting out stuff, videos every week. Again, we, we do a variety of everything. So I don't want to discriminate. I don't want to, you know, separate one and not give anything to the other. Like, I just love the card aspect. 
and I love being able to just relate to these and like you're saying wow that is that's some crazy stuff there so let's try to find some more of this stuff because this is I mean this you I'm gonna hit it one day I'm gonna hit it one day so thank you again like comment subscribe pay attention for more thank you have a great day see ya <laughs>